Oh, sweet. Okay, so I'm sorry, gonna, I'm yelling. Get you. What's up, my boy squad? We're here at a special place where they make suits. Check out this dog, though. Oh my gosh! Hey, wow. I sent you to America for one suit. Wow, look at this doggy. His name is Aldo. A hairless dog? Yeah. Oh, oh. and look at his outfit. Cute. Oh, I want a hairless dog. You're so cute. Oh, it's totally skin. No hair. I want a hairless dog. Oh. You're adorable. Yes, hi there. What's up, man? How you doing? Nice to see you. Too, man. Uh, What's up, bro? What is this place? This is your place? <laughs> yeah, boy. Can you introduce yourself to the Mabuhay squad? Yo, what's up, y'all? My name is Ken. I'm all the former wear here in Winnipeg. Mm -hmm. I'm about to floss out Mr. Bustos here. <laughs> nice badge, you know? Oh, I can wear it on the red carpet. That's right, that's right. All right. Look at this place. It's awesome. Look at how. Wait, I gotta take you around. Look at these suits. Can you believe this? This is his store. And they make custom-made suits wow 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 this is vampirish i like that Ooh, wow oh and they make women's suits too awesome look at that velour oh, amazing wow Ooh, ties for days awesome love it bow ties it's great a bald asian <laughs> it's so trendy look at this leather couch wow Look at this patchwork on this fur. <gasps> awesome. I love this dog. I want one now. His name is Aldo. <laughs> Aldo. Aldo. Hi, Aldo. You're so cute. What do they call you here in Winnipeg? Do you have a stage me? name? No, they just call me Ken. Doesn't he it. look like an artist? Yeah, they just call me Ken. He, he looks like an artista, this guy. <laughs> and were you born here in Winnipeg? Born and raised. Amazing. Yeah. Has Winnipeg changed over the years? Oh, a lot, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. When they got people like uh, Ericsson over here trying to yes. build up the community, man, you know? That's right. Yeah. It really does seem like the Filipino community in Winnipeg is so tight. Yes. Yeah, well, it's like it's different from. Dude, it all like, started from our Toronto parents. It all started from our parents, right? So, like the younger generation. Like my parents and Ericsson's parents, like mm. they all chilled before before we chilled, you know what I mean? Now it's chilled all, here. Yeah, they they were all good friends. You know what awesome. I mean? When they arrived here in Winnipeg, they all knew each other. That's now right. it's crazy because like their their sons and daughters all kick it now. Wow. You know? So uh, so it's cool. like two it's generations like, of yeah, kicking. It's like a mini Philippines here, man. <laughs> but with, I've noticed winter, but with winter. But yeah, you're very you're cold you're winter. You're little, uh, oh your parents started this yeah, so and you you're it's taking it's it over. Yeah. Oh, so that, that's the whole history. I love that entrepreneurship, that's guys. Wow, look at the ceiling. That sure beats stucco. Ooh, so he's putting on some sample pants on me so he can get proper measurements. Wow, and a sample blazer. Oh, sweet. Okay, so Sorry, gonna, I'm yelling. Um, I love this. I'm asking him to make me a red carpet ensemble. I'll wear it at the next red carpet event we have. This vlog is out. And guys, I'll tell you in a sec where you can get one of his suits. You are the coolest, coolest puppy ever. Look at that bling though. And this hoodie. It's so stylish. This is called a hairless terrier. American terrier. Terrier. See? Very rare breed. It's a rare breed. And you know, like, he almost looks blue. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's it's literally skin. It feels different. Oh, like sticking off the clothes. Look at that. Oh wow! <laughs> it really does look like a blue dog. Yeah, man. What an awesome, awesome dog. Yeah. This is my new favorite breed. Wow, so friendly and quiet too. Yeah, he's, he's cool, man. He's just chill. That's it. That's it. What a good-looking dog. Aldo is so be obedient. Good boy. Wow. Such a good boy. And it's a good idea if to have a dog that's hairless in a suit store, <laughs> right? You don't want like hair sticking to the to the clothes. Great idea. I want one. I want one like you. Yes, 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 yes. Oh. In your opinion, what makes a good suit? 
What makes a good soup? Yeah. Oh, man, just, just the structure of the soup. Like the insides, you know? Mm. The way it's like tailored and, and stitched. Craftsmanship, right? I see. Yeah, then of course styling, right? right. Styling makes a big part of it, man. You could have a, a nice soup, but if it's not styled good, then it's nothing, right? Mm. So does style c constantly evolve, or is oh, yeah, our man. suits a thing that always, there's a classic design that's uh, it, it, it depends who wears them. Mm. You know, someone like me, you know, like I consider myself like aggressive. Yeah, super eclectic. Yeah, look so, at that, guys. Yeah, it's just style. Like, it's just the way I show my personality, right? Wow, look at that. It's like the uh, stylish pin. <laughs> awesome. The details, the details. So you recommend people go and get tailored suits as opposed to going to a store and buy them? It's just more personalized, mm. you know what I mean? Rather than buying something off the rack. I see. You know what I mean? Like if, if you want to, if you want to have like a special piece, then obviously you do custom. But mm. I don't know. It's just tailored to you, right? So right. Interesting. I never considered that. That personality should be taken into consideration when buying a suit. You know what I mean? Not just your body. Wow. He is fully sketching the design right here on his iPad. Whoa. That's awesome. So I'm gonna make your shirt sleeveless. Okay. So you better be doing bicep. sleeveless. Yeah. All right. What so sleeveless you're shirt? Have, you're gonna have like a red, uh, a red bib, pleated wow. bib. Okay, so it's wow. like these are gonna be like tuxedo pleats. You see that? What? Awesome. Yeah. Then your jacket will be coordinated with that. You're gonna have like a mandarin color. It's gonna be like two and a half inches wide. Wow. I'm gonna put my logo in there so people. Yes. See yes. It right, for sure. Right there. Okay. Wicked. So the theme is gonna be black and red. Okay. Sweet. So that's your shirt. Okay. So now I'm gonna design it. And that's the shirt guys. What? That is awesome. Wow, and he does all the designs here on his iPad with this like stylo. Ooh. I'm gonna do the same red. Oh man, this is yeah. sick. Keep it like a red theme. He's an artist, this one. I'm amazed. Up tomorrow and they're gonna hit up Saskatchewan. And then Vancouver. I'm gonna make you rock like a six button right. double breasted. Okay? All right. Have you ever rocked a double breasted well. before? No. So awesome. Yeah. Double yeah. breasted. Wait. See. Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm ignorant. What does double breasted mean? So double breasted. Mean? There's gonna be an overlap with with four buttons there. You're gonna have like two buttons on the top where your nipples are. Oh. Right. So it's gonna like like what I'm wearing today. Oh wow. Okay. Wow wow wow. So cool. What? What an art. Yes. Yes. Right. Black and red is great. Since you're gonna be on a red carpet, it's gonna. I want you looking bold and strong. Nice. That's what. Like, if you wear black, it kind of represents like power, right? Mm. So, but I'll put like red buttons on it. What? Yeah. That's sick. Yeah. So all this will be black. Wow. Yeah. And it'll fit nice too. I find it amazing how it starts as an idea on paper. Well, digital yeah, paper. Just, kind of make and it then come it. To life. Yeah, and then you make it come to life. Wow. Have you ever done a fashion show? Yeah. Of your stuff? Yeah? Man, I'd love to see that. I'll probably put like a red... I'll put like red striping on your, on your trouser. Cool. Whoa, red on the... Yeah. On the pants. On the pants. I'll Sweet. Do, I'll do outer and inner too. What? Yeah. You know what I mean? Wow, just wow, kinda, wow, wow. Just kind of make it proportional, right? So yeah, not yeah. just the top, just the bottom, then your shirt with the bib, with the black bib. Awesome! Because uh, I, I do monogram inside the suit. Did you want me to put something like here? Oh! Yeah, like your street name or whatever. Oh, hmm. I don't know. What does monogram mean? Like, uh, like, like a symbol? Personalized. Yeah. personalized. Oh, yeah. Mike, Mikey is okay. <laughs> Mikey, that's it? Yeah. And he's done, my boy squad. Check it out. What? That is awesome. I can't wait to wear this at our next, like, major event. I can't get over this. This is amazing. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna make that suit and then he's gonna ship it to us in Manila. Oh, thank you. Thank That's you cool, so eh? much. That's cool, Ken, eh? seriously. This has been amazing and also a learning experience. Yeah, it's cool, man, right? Yeah. It is an experience. So it is an experience. That's what it is. When people come here, you know, that's, I want people to kind of like go through that. Yeah, listen, so Mabuhay Squad, where can they go if they want one of your suits? Oh, you could hit me up at uh, Ken at uh, aldoformalware.ca. Okay, yeah. yeah. I'm going to put the email he, in he the has description my info, box. So get it from mm -hmm. him. 
Yeah, yeah I'll put it in the description box for you guys. Just email him and he'll do like a FaceTime thing with you so you can take the he can take the proper measurements even if you're not here in Winnipeg. Awesome. 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 Aldo is the most stylish dog I've ever seen in my life. Mm -hmm. Aldo formal wear. They even have the dog named Aldo. Look, look, he's got a, an A chain. <laughs> Blingin. This is a nice flip right Yes. Yeah, just something beautiful. Something beautiful. Bye, Aldo. See you. You're the coolest dog I've ever met. <laughs> He's almost blue. <laughs> <laughs>